Hi guys, welcome. If you're new here, my name's Nikki. I'm a beekeeper and I make beekeeping videos. If that's something you like watching, then hit the subscribe button. If you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back and listening to what I have to say. I really appreciate it. Today, I'm gonna do my 19th inspection on my newest hive of honeybees. This is technically week 20. Um, I did not do an inspection last week. We have had so much wasp activity this year and so much uh, potential robbing that I felt like my last inspections when I was going in, I was doing more harm to the bees than good. So I decided to give them a week off and the wasp activity has decreased a little bit uh, as far as I can see around the hive. So we'll try again today. Now I do have some concerns because of all that potential robbing. I really wanna make sure that my bees are doing okay when I get in here, that they still have a good population, that they still have food stores in there the traffic going in and out of the hive is still okay um, so hopefully we'll get in and everything looks great well I'm going to get my stuff on and we'll get started okay guys let's get in here and check on these girls I have not been in here in a couple weeks um, it's been overall a pretty bad fall so far we had a great spring fall has not been so great our nectar flow has been pretty terrible as far as far as the fall flow and we've had a tremendous number of wasps this year so the last couple weeks I've not been in here every time I've come out there's been so many yellow jackets so many bald faced hornets that me getting in the hive did way more damage uh, than good so I am hoping that we can get to this inspection today I don't see as many hornets out here, um, but I really want to check their mite situation. I want to check their stores. Um, just checking for my queen here. It's been very difficult this year to feed them as well because um, it's with the amount of yellow jackets that we've had it's impossible to feed them at the hive and even at the community feeders that i have out they are really being bombarded or all the honeybees are by the enormous number of wasps that we have this year so um even feeding out there is very very difficult so I'm, i i kind of can't wait until we get our first frost to get rid of these yellow jackets and kind of formulate a plan on what I'm gonna to do to feed them after that time. Lots of bees up here. I think the last inspection that I did really had so many yellow jackets and then afterwards um, it was just chaos at the hive fighting with the wasps and went on for a, quite a bit of time I had to cover the hive and so you know at that point I felt like my inspection with them did more damage than good so I just decided the last couple weeks not to continue to go into the hive Gotta be on the leg. Okay. So outside frame here, I've just got that capped syrup and nectar. It's not looking good. I already have a yellow jacket here. And on the back, this looks like they've actually gone through some of the syrup that was in this frame. So not really looking good as far as storing it looks like they have started to kind of deplete that a little bit i don't know if that's some from robbing from the yellow jackets or from the bees just not being able to access the feeder because of the amount of yellow jackets in there i know a couple of beekeepers here locally who have lost complete hives this year to uh, wasps. I 
would say overall they do get worse this time of year um but it's been significantly worse this year okay this is a pretty heavy frame we've got a really full frame here of syrup and nectar some of it capped and we've got a little bit of capped brood here with some larva in the center and the rest is syrup and nectar that's capped over and i'll bring this up so you can see pretty heavy so here you can see a tiny amount of brood there with the rest of syrup and nectar and same there of a little bit of capped brood and some syrup around the edges. I'm trying to look for eggs, but I'm not seeing any. Literally a hornet just kind of flew in here. I'm probably gonna try to find some eggs here and again, just really pack these rolls back up because I just don't think this is going to end well. I've got some capped brood here and some syrup on this next frame. So you can see there, we've got capped brood and syrup. And on the next side, capped brood with syrup as well. I don't see any eggs. Still a lot of, of bees in here, so that's nice to see. When you have that much insect or predator kind of interaction around your hive and you're not really going in it, it's tough to know what's going on inside the hive. Um, so I was afraid I'd get in here and there just would be a really low population of bees, but they look pretty good. starting to get a little fired up and I kind of don't blame them. So what happens in my opinion is I think yellow jackets sort of target some of your weaker hives. And when they really start trying to enter the hive and start robbing a hive, it stresses them out. And then in turn, uh, the stress attracts more of them. So I've got the frame here. I'm looking for some eggs. I'm not seeing any. And some syrup. And this side, I've got some capped brood. I do have eggs, so I have eggs on this side. Some capped brood, my queen's here. So I've seen my queen. Um, kind of bring, I'm not gonna bring this frame up because she's on it, but I've got a little bit of capped brood here and some eggs, syrup around the edges. And this frame looks like syrup and a little bit of capped brood and some empty cells. So I'm actually going to put this back in the hive because my queen's on it. I know, girls. I know they're bugging you. Oh, heavy frame. 
lots of syrup and nectar, some pollen here. They've got some caps. And the back side, lots and lots of syrup on this frame. And it looks like a couple cells with eggs in it. So I'll bring this up for you to see. So they do have a pretty decent amount of storage up here. So there we've got that side of the frame, pretty much exclusively syrup and nectar. And there. While I have these guys open today, I am going to do an OA dribble into the hive to treat for mites. Let's check our next frame. And we've got lots of syrup up here. This side of syrup as well. So not a lot of brood up here, but definitely lots more syrup being stored. You can see that side. And that side. And I don't, again, we don't know what's down in the bottom box, but if they're not bringing in as much food, um, the queen will start kind of decreasing laying a little bit. There's not enough to go around to feed everybody. She won't make more, basically. This frame was empty. Pretty much the same here. Um, I didn't anticipate them drawing this out again. They've really had a difficult time uh, accessing the feeders that I put out. We're getting a little angry here, so I'm probably gonna wrap this up. So this side I've got syrup and nectar capped and nothing here. You can see that side and that side. And I'll look at one more frame and then I'm going to treat them for mites really quick. This, the back frame in here was empty. It was the frame that we replaced, uh, the frame I had to repair, the broken frame. And they're getting really mad. This frame is heavy. Whole frame here of syrup and nectar, mostly capped and beautiful side of cap syrup and nectar here. So there's that side. And here is this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to um, pull this off treat for mites really, really quick. I'm not gonna look really down in that second. I've seen the queen, I've seen eggs. Uh, they've got some pollen, they've got syrup. So I'm gonna wrap them up and just kind of do the least amount of damage here with the yellow jackets today. Okay guys, that was inspection number 19 on this hive, week number 20. Uh, before I kind of recap everything we did and saw and go over my thoughts on the inspection, if you've watched this series, you know that I have a cat that likes to be my helper with the bees. Her name is Kiwi. Uh, I thought initially it was for the bees, but I think it's just filming and she wants to be a YouTube star. Uh, so she's out here with me today, but uh, I just wanted to show you really quick uh, what she's doing. Kiwi, what are you doing? So I just want to show you that really quick. Kiwi uh, is my helper with the bees. I think she wants to become a YouTube celebrity. She's up on top of the pergola about 10 feet from me, really managing this process of me filming. 
Uh, so she joins us a lot in this series. Now as far as the inspection today, the population decreased a little bit, so there's not as many bees in there. That might be a combination of some robbing going on and the bees defending themselves and natural kind of decreasing a population in the hive this time of year. Still a pretty decent amount of bees, um, so I'm not really overly concerned if they continue to decrease over the next couple weeks then I'll talk about what our options are as far as how having them help over winter still storing a lot of stuff we're kind of getting close to the end of sugar syrup for the bees so I'll probably start making some sugar bricks or fondant for them uh, to help kind of boost them up or get them through we did see the queen they do have a little bit of brood left in this hive I did do a quick OA dribble inside the hive, um, and I'll explain that a little bit because it's not usually the most effective treatment when you have brood in the hive and there is a little bit in there. Now, this hive, I've done many mite counts and their counts haven't been super high, um, and a couple times I when I did them, I didn't need to treat, but I do like to treat them anyways going into winter. Now, as I said before, OA dribble is not really effective as a single treatment when you have brood in the hive, but you can space them out and do them at certain intervals. Uh, that does make them effective and if you'd like me to do a video on that I can and kind of go over that process um, we cut it short a little bit today but we saw everything that we needed to see so we'll just keep watching and see how they're doing and see what we need to do to help these girls over winter if you have any questions about this inspection or just any beekeeping questions in general leave them down in the comment section below as always thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day